Secretary to Cabinet, Patrick Kangwa, says permanent secretaries have the responsibility of ensuring that government resources are prudently managed. Mr. Kangwa says the development of the country depends entirely on the services of the permanent secretaries. He was speaking during the induction service of permanent secretaries and deputies at Mungush Conference Center in Osaka. Permanent secretaries, in turn, are chief executive officers of ministries and government institutions. Permanent secretaries are responsible for the day-to-day -day running of institutions for which they are responsible. Government can only run efficiently when each person plays their role and interacts effectively with others to achieve the overall goal of government. It is against this background that we shall be reminded of the highlights of the Cabinet Handbook and the importance of following what is contained in the document for smooth functioning of the government. Several permanent secretaries have approached my office expressing concerns about how a permanent secretary can properly exercise oversight over statutory bodies and agencies under their ministries. This topic is important since these organizations perform delegated functions from your ministries. And former secretary to cabinet, Leslie Mbula, shared his views on leadership and governance. A leadership in government is very important, but it goes without of responsibility. Responsibility because we are serving the people. The people are the ultimate beneficiaries. That's why I gave the example of the village leadership, so that you can also look at it from that point of view, that you are leaders in your own rights. Never estimate, underestimate the position that you occupy. You are leaders in government. A minister is a leader in government. So, play your part as a leader. Meanwhile, former Auditor General Anna Chifungula counseled the permanent secretaries on the importance of accountability and transparency in the execution of duties. When the report goes to public accounts, to parliament rather, the speaker will give this report to the Public Accounts Committee, which will scrutinize it on behalf of the, 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 the Parliament. And once they finish scrutinizing it, of course, uh, in the process of that scrutiny, they will call you as witnesses, and the Accountant General and the Auditor General are permanent witnesses. That is, they sit in, uh, to make sure that they are able to explain should there be need uh, in case some of the issues that they raise are not... Uh, the importance of controlling officers in the efficient and effective running of government functions can be emphasized. Sandra reporting for Zanis in Osaka.